Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. High Count Man versus Good Lover. Yeah, and, and um, I've got to give a shout out. This is uh, one of my, um, well, I don't think he wants his name on the air, but he sent me a question. He wanted to know the difference between a man who has a lot of sex and a man who is good at it. And I was like, wow, that's an interesting question because it's a reality out there. You see, you have some men and they'll tell you that they've been with a lot of women. And they, they'll be sincere, too. Now, even though I've publicly stated that the average man has had sex with only seven women. And I'm saying that's the average, though. That's the average. That you got a lot of guys out there. They they just not getting it like that. That's, I mean, that's just a reality. But you get some guys. They got a high count. You know, they got a high count. Or relatively, I mean, anything over ten is relatively high. To be honest, people might not think so. But when you got cats out here who've only been with like two women, shoot, somebody who's been with ten looking like a straight player. Now, of course, somebody who's been with 300 or something, they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but no, you get some guys out there. I, I would say you've been with a good number of women, probably in the uh, 40s and 50s and stuff like that, right? And they have that high count. That don't mean they're a good lover, though. Because there is a difference. Because you can have a guy who's been with 50 women, say, and then the guy who's been with 20 women but you know if you had like say there were some women they had in common say you had five women in common between those and you know it happens like that out there many of many women those five women might all rate the uh one guy who's been with fewer women as a better lover now that would seem hard because it would it would seem to make sense that if a man's been with a lot of women he's He's good at sex. No, not really. Not really. Let me go over the differences between a high count man and a good lover. Now, just to be clear, somebody, some men can be both. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's hard to have a high count and be a good lover at the same time. And it's going to become apparent after I tell you all these uh, few things. Now, think about a high count man, right? The one thing you know is they're able to have sex. They're able to get a bunch of women in bed. And from the outside looking in, they might look like player, player. But here's something to consider. Just because he's getting them in bed don't mean he's satisfying them. Because, see, I talk to a lot of women, a whole lot of women, right? And they'll say, yeah, dude was cute, or he had this, that, and a third going on, but he didn't satisfy them. He didn't last that long. He wasn't all that. Now, if you get, like, you can get some guys out there who, you know, women might say they're very handsome, you know? It's, let's be real. Women, they're going to throw it at some dude who's very good looking. But for whatever reason, that good looking dude might not have any skills. You know, it's one thing to get pussy thrown at you, but you might not have any skills, right? Also, too, just even getting women in bed, you don't know what he's done. I mean, yeah, he might have the gift of gab or whatever, and people think he has some game, but then you find out this dude's a straight-up trick because you got some women, and I've talked about acculturated prostitution. A dude might just be good at finding the women who are going to take money from them because, ironically... Some women, even if a dude offer them money, they're not going to have sex with that particular man. But you get some dudes, you know, they either give the women money straight up because that's a hustle with some women. Now, all, all, all hoes don't walk the street. I know some, um, shall we say, renegades, you know, they don't have a pimp or anything, but they guys are still paying them. And, you know, you get some guy, he might just be in a circle where he's just straight up pay them or... You know, he do that uh, dinner date tricking, you know, take them out. And some women, you know, they'll say, you know what, this dude spent all this money. Let me, let me give him some. And I know of those situations, too. Right. And then there's another thing with high count men. And this is what I will maintain. There ain't that many dimes in the world. 
a, ga- a man would have to be like a pro athlete, a celebrity, or work work in a strip club. Something he would have to do something to be around a lot of dimes. So if you get a guy with a high account, all those women aren't dimes. And you get some cats though. Only thing they need for a woman is a pulse. Cause you got a lot of cats, and you know you look at there's there's one guy, right? Know this guy. If you see him walking along every day, you just think he's some frog looking twerp. You know, you don't think he get any play, but he gets plenty of play. Thing is, he's getting them from big fat women. You know that dude's the fat woman whisperer. In fact, I knew a player. Man, he was getting play like crazy. You know, he, this dude. <laughs> This 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 dude's cell phone just went ping 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 ping. It's just like all the time. But I remember what he told me though. Is it wrong? There's a market out there for fat women. All these fat women are lonely. You know, if that woman was shoot, if that woman was a size eight for this brother, they, they, that'd be too small. They that's skinny for him. That dude was 16 and up. <laughs> Seriously, size 16 and up. Yeah, so he's getting plenty of play, but it's a question who he's getting it from. I've, been, I've known a few guys like that. They 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 big girl whispers. Shoot. A butter face to him is a dime. They was like, damn, she got a messed up body, but her face is jacked. Shit. I just turn her over, dog. <laughs> Seriously. So you got to look at it. But that would mean they satisfying them. Right? Because you got to contrast that with the good lover, right? See, the good lover also knows how to get women in bed, but he probably won't get as many for a reason I'll go over in a second. But the thing with the good lover is he's the good lover because he's satisfying the women. He's giving them reason to come back, right? And he's also, if he's a good lover, if, if that dick real good to a woman, he ain't going to pay any money. So why would a good lover have fewer lovers than maybe a regular high count man? Because the lovers keep coming back. Fellas, look, I don't, you know what? I don't really pl- plug my books like this. You, you know, I usually just do these things and I have stuff in the um, description box if y'all want to check them out. And that's doing pretty good, but I'm going to plug it. That's my game, y'all. I'm telling y'all how to sexually satisfy women. Like the book I have that actually has a specific technique that anybody can use. Shoot. Actually gets the least amount of sales. And that's sexual chemistry. But all of my books are geared towards satisfying a woman sexually. Even when you're not even in the bedroom with her. You can be out chilling. Going to the market or something. But if you... I put you in such a state that... Shoot. You just be sitting there standing there. And the woman be going crazy. She be having an orgasm while she's in a produce aisle if she's with you. And I'm just I'm just being real with it. That's that's Rom, that's what Rom is teaching. Y'all need to check out my stuff. But see the good lover, you know, he's going to have 20 lovers, uh, you know, 20 partners as opposed to 50 cuz the women going to keep coming back. They're going to be camping out in front of his house and stuff. Shoot. And you they going to go crazy and whatnot. They shoot. I, and they be out in front of his place. He got those binoculars, everything. You know? You know, the legendary Lexus K. Tyler was talking about, you know, dick will make you slap somebody. Shoot, a good lover. These these dudes, shoot, they got marks where some woman slapped them. And going crazy and whatnot. Because they keep coming back. That's the thing. If you, if, look, fellas. You want to know how if you're a good lover? Some dudes want if they're a good lover. Well, two things. Does she regularly have an orgasm? But it takes some experience to know when she ain't faking. The best way to know you're a good lover is if she keep coming back and you're not spending money or anything. Think about it. Like she could she could go out and deal with other dudes, but every now and then she hits you up. Be knocking on your door like late at night or something, like with nothing on but some uh, spandex. And for the really adventurers, a trench coat and nothing under it. Oh, yeah, that's happening, yo. I ain't gonna lie, man. I thought it was normal for women to come over a guy's place without underwear. But I digress. But seriously, that's how you know. See, the guy, 
a guy like that is going to tend to stay with the same women. And then there's a really important part. A good lover is going to have standards. Oh, yeah, he probably did that duck. He probably did that jacked up woman. Every player has had one. That's like a rite of passage and whatnot. But a good lover is going to be like, hold up, hold up. Do I mess with those three jacked up looking women with the bad dispositions? And unfortunate faces and bodies that look like the most they've done with a gym is walk past one. Or do I mess with this real fine woman with the killer body sexy as hell? Because let me tell you something. If you want you get with a real sexy woman, you get real picky after that, fellas. Seriously, you get with a woman who got a pleasant attitude, she got a killer body, and at least halfway decent face. They don't even have to be that pretty. Oh, and especially if she put the cluck clink on you. You shoot, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna wanna mess around with most most women gonna look all of a sudden very unattractive to you. And especially, you know, you really, you really make love to her, have her screaming, have her floating on cloud nine, contacting the great pumpkin. Please, you ain't going to be as much. You ain't going to be as much. Personally, I think it's better just to go for a standard because like sometimes with the high count, man, and this any, any, anybody say has sex with more than a few women will tell you all women aren't good in bed. You know, a lot of them don't have a good grip. It is what it is. A lot of women think they just got to gap their legs open and that's it. Don't make they don't make they a good lover. So you know that high count man, he ain't mess. He ain't necessarily getting good quality. Because first of all, that means if he ain't really got that click clink, or and those women don't want to deal with him, because that's one thing with a lot of dudes who do get a lot. And I'm just going to be straight up. Now, I ain't saying that this is a general statement. Don't be hitting me in the comment section. Well, they always come back to me. Well, you're a good lover, too. But the for real, I take whatever somebody says, I take it with a grain of salt. And the question is, well, can you go back to it? Because women, shoot, they could be they could be happily married. But they there's that one guy that get on social media. <laughs> be like, yeah, I remember him. Hey, shoot. They be thinking about some stuff. You know? Their husbands or boyfriends better hope that, that you know, she got out of the habit of calling their name. In fact, some women might do that. They may they might get used to just saying baby so they don't call that other dude's name. But, no, nah, it is a difference. That's why, because trust me, I've known some cats and, you know, you be looking at them and they be like, yeah, I did this and that. And, you know, sometimes they lying on their dick, sometimes they honest. But then if you look who they get with. You know, you get some young dudes in halfway decent shape. They're getting with a bunch of grandmas and whatnot. Like, literally. Because, you know, some of these women be having grandchildren and they're in their 40s. You be like, damn, dude. <laughs> these women be jacked up. Because don't think for a second. That's why some of these women, honestly, who probably rate a three on the infamous scale, still can act all funky and stuff because they know somebody trying to get with them. And you got these guys out there. Y'all know it. Y'all got these guys. It's just like, God dang, dude. What's up with that? But yeah, that's the difference. And personally, I don't know. Counts don't mean anything. Yeah, to me, it's quality. You know, seriously. <laughs> and I'm saying that with a decently high count. But it's quality. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'll say it like this. In hindsight, man, I could have cut off about maybe... 75% of the women I dealt with. No joke. Seriously, because it was like, yeah. And these were ones that would come back, but then you just like, I don't really feel like dealing with this. Seriously. So that's the difference. And in the grand scheme of things, you want to work to be a good lover. You want that woman to come back for more. Like, come. That's when you know. In fact, and I've talked about this in a video. You want her to come back. You want her to give her. She, you want her to give you that look, that look like she like. Damn, who are you? Good Lord, she looking at you, wondering and stuff. You be hitting it doggy style. She turn back and look at you. She just stop and she be like, God, damn, dude. She, she, God damn. I didn't know it was like that, babe. I didn't know it was like that. Yeah, you want you want that look from a woman, right? 
So anyway, Ray, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, hey, get my stuff, y'all. This is a shameless plug. Shoot. I got to buy that butt and pimp of mine or like some stuff, <laughs> some clothes. He want all the fancy clothes and stuff. I got to pay for that joint. <laughs> anyway, man, I'll holler at y'all. <laughs>